If you have a small parotid tumor sitting on the facial nerve itself, should you be concerned for potential injury for facial nerve to the facial nerve? I'm Dr. Bob Ankmarion from Center for Advanced Parotid and Facial Nerve Surgery. It's a very important question. So in this view, you can see this whole thing is the parotid gland and this is the mass. And then cross section, again, this is the parotid gland with a facial nerve going right through it. And of course, this is the mass. Okay, so let's say this mass is coming and sitting on the facial nerve. Okay. Does that make you more concerned for facial nerve injury? Well, I'd say more than 95% of the tumors that I remove are immediately in touch with a branch of the facial nerve, right? And so when they're in this scenario where they're sitting on top and touching the facial nerve, well, it's not so difficult to find the nerve close by the branches and then remove the tumor from it. So you essentially you find, you come in, let's say you're looking, you're looking downwards like this. Hold on. So this is your eyeball looking here. You find the facial nerve there and then you can peel the tumor off of the nerve. While you see the nerve, you peel the tumor, right? And remove it. And Again, more than 95% of the times, that's what I'm doing the nerve branches. And so the experience of your surgeon is what matters most. How patient they are, how meticulous they are, how neurotic they are about these facial nerve branches, because they're so important, so, so important. And so even though there is a risk, the risk is a lot less when you have a, an experienced, patient, gentle surgeon doing the surgery for you. If you're interested in clear product information, visit us at productmd.com. Be well.